Hello everybody, this is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I wanted to do an arrangement of roses, but we're going to do more of a small compact arrangement. And I am going to use a vase called a Rosy Posy vase. That's just the name of this vase. I love this container because it has a flat bottom. It's a really wide flat bottom. And so it sits really well in the floorboard of your car while driving. It just works really nicely um, to take flowers home with you. So what I've done is I've added fresh water and a little bit of flower food to my vase. And I'm going to start out with some leather leaf. Now we are going to take some roses and we're going to just arrange them in more of a um, low compact very, very easy, very simple arrangement. I'm gonna use my floral knife. Uh, this is one of my favorite tools. We were actually just doing a video about our favorite tools and one of my favorites is this floral knife. It is on our Amazon um, storefront and it's just a folding paring knife. The wonderful part about it folding is you can drop that in your pocket of your um, apron or in your pants pocket and take it along with you. I'm going to take that knife cut that um, greenery at an angle. So I'm starting out with a little bit of leather leaf. I'm pulling off some of the foliage off the bottom and I'm cutting that stem at an angle and tucking that greenery right into this container. Now you want to do your very best not to get foliage to fall below that water line. You wanna keep the foliage out of the water and the reason we do that is because we, um, it, when the greenery gets in the water, it aids in the growth of bacteria. And so you try to keep all of the foliage from going into that water. All right, so there's our leather leaf. I just put probably four or five stems of leather into um, my vase. Next, I'm going to come in with a little bit of pittosporum. So pittosporum this is actually a variegated pittosporum and it is a shrub that that you can grow in your yard so it works beautifully um, to cut this out of your yard this actually came from our company that we buy flowers from called budsy um, but you can certainly harvest this out of your yard if it's growing in your yard now pittosporum comes in a variegated which is what you see here kind of a light green with little white edges, um, but it also comes in a solid dark green that's really pretty. So I'm just taking that greenery and tucking it right in to our vase. And I'm taking this pit and I'm breaking it into smaller pieces. Cutting that stem at an angle. Now the only thing about Pittosporum is it's a really woody stem, so it's kind of hard to cut with your knife. So you want to be kind of careful. You might want snips to cut your pit with. All right, so there's our Pittosporum tucked in. Next, I'm going to come in with a little bit of Solidago Aster. So Solidago is one of my favorite filler flowers. So I'm just going to take it, strip some of the bottom fronds off. It's not fronds, it's just leaves and, and pieces. All right. Okay, now it's time to come in with my roses. So I have lots of pretty greenery, a little bit of filler flower. Next, I'm gonna come in with my roses. Now this is called Fortune, is the name of this variety. It's a beautiful deep red rose, very hardy. Um, and I love the fact that it's really dark in color. Um, and it's got beautiful foliage on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my floral knife, I'm going to pop off the bottom leaf there, take my floral knife, cut that stem at an angle, and I'm just going to nestle it low into this arrangement. Again, this is going to be a low compact 
I'm going to leave some of the foliage on just because the foliage is so pretty. I'm going to leave a little bit of it on. And we're just going to, we're using six roses today, so we're just going to take them, remove any of the petals that aren't pretty, cut that stem at an angle, and just tuck those deep down into this vase. Now, you can do this with as many roses as you would like to make it as full as you would like. Today, I'm only doing a half dozen, um, but really you can make it as, um, as full with as many roses as you would like to put in there. Honestly, I think this container would easily hold um, a dozen to 18 roses, so it would be very full and very pretty. All right, so there's our little compact arrangement of roses. Very, very simple. Next, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of holly fern just to give us a little bit of movement in this arrangement. So I'm just going to take my holly fern, cut that stem at an angle, and I'm just going to tuck a little bit into, around, into the vase and around the roses. Now when I do an arrangement this this short and compact, often I don't put ribbon on it, but if you would like ribbon, you can absolutely add ribbon to your arrangement. But you see how simple and easy this arrangement came together. Very, very simple. Um, yet very pretty and a nice gift um, for any occasion. The wonderful part about having your roses in more of a compact design is they're going to last longer because they don't have so much stem to have to for the water to travel up to the flower to the bloom um, and so when they have shorter stems they often last longer but that's a very simple arrangement of roses in a compact design. Guys, thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions about how we do things here at Flowers by the Bunch, you can always ask. You can drop that right here in the comments or send us a message over on our email. We're so happy to answer your questions. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Um, that just helps our video get seen. And if you have not already followed us um, or subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button right down below and that little bell will give you notifications for when we have a new video. Thanks guys. Have a great day.